have a file with same content okay i won't get any difference okay if there is any difference then a report will be generated with the changes in the file okay. so we have two files now so i am trying to compare these two files and let's see how the report is generated if the same content then it won't give any output but if the content is different it will give a report of differences okay. so it has compared file 2 and file 3 and it is giving the first occurrence of the difference in both the files okay. byte 9 in line 1 okay, it found the first difference so what is the content of file 2 and file 3 let us see file 2 and file 3 <coughs> So this is here also it started with this is so how many bytes it is? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So up to space it is fine. So eight bytes. But when it started with the ninth byte, it is S here and it is M here. So it found difference at the ninth byte of the first line. So that's what it has reported here. Right? So it, it will display the first occurrence of the difference in both the files and it will terminate. <coughs> okay, so this is how you can compare two files so that it will give you the first occurrence of the difference and terminate. <coughs> okay, so let's try with the same file. Okay, so to try with the same file we have to create a same file. Okay, so I'm creating a same file with a copy. Right, so I'm file 3 I'm copying it as file 4 and now I'm giving the compare command CMP file 3 comma file 4 because it is with the CP command the copy command so it should be contain the same content right so I'm giving compare command on the same files see there is no difference so no output if there is any difference it will give the first occurrence of the difference as an output okay. so there is another similar command called diff diff so which finds the differences between two files and it will give, report to you all the differences okay. in compare command you got only the first occurrence of the difference right but in diff command it will give you the entire report okay where are the changes let's try that diff file 3 space file 4 both are same right file 3 and file 4 are same so there is no output okay let's try with different files the file 2 with file 3 okay, so these contents are different so we are applying diff command on different files 3 it is giving a redirection operator here that means it is new line in the file. Okay, what is the content of file to the second line? Okay, so compared to the file to, so this is the new line which is existing in the first file. Okay, so in file to, this is an extra line, and the rest of the content is same. The second line is common for both, so it is not a difference. Only the difference is okay, file three was having one extra line so that is what it is displaying file 3 is having an extra line okay. so to <coughs> see this very clear let us do one thing we will create two files get file 5 I am giving just some numbers to some lines of four five six control C it will terminate and it will create a file 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 and I'm creating one more file file six okay, with the content with only the even numbers two four and six okay, control C now I'm trying to see the exact differences of these two files so I'm comparing the diff command file 5 space file 6 
now see the entire report here so all are with a single operator that means these all are existing as extra in file 5 you have 1 3 5 okay, everything is existing extra in file 5 okay let us do one thing we will have some more content in file 6 so that we will get the extras in file 6 also in the report file 6 okay. so after 6 it is 8 right and 10 so I have appended the content so now if I see file 5 it is the sequence numbers 1 to 6 and in file 6 this even numbers up to 10 okay. now if I get the difference we should give extra lines in the file 5 with a less than symbol okay, and extra lines in the second file with a greater than symbol 8 and 10 are not existing in file 5 so they have given okay, with a greater than symbol okay, in the first file whatever are extra they were given with less than symbol okay, so this is how it will generate the entire report of differences okay, by comparing two files okay, with, this, with the CMP command it will just give you the first occurrence of the difference as the output okay, and if the files are same then there is no output <coughs> okay, in the diff command the files are same there is no output and if the files are different then it will give you the entire report of extra lines in both the files okay, whichever are common you won't get them in the report so TWO two exist in both the files so you cannot see it in the report because it is same and FOUR four is not also displayed in the report because it is same okay, so whatever are extra in the file 6 they are displayed with the greater than symbol and what whichever are extra in the file 5 are displayed with the less than symbol okay, so this is how you can compare two existing files we have covered listing okay but still we have so many options in ls i will show you okay we have seen creation of file we have seen view content of the file copy command remove command move command okay <coughs> and we have seen the file comparison commands and diff commands okay now let's see the file and one more thing I wanted to inform you <coughs> as this is the SIGWIN a simulator of Unix on Windows then some of the commands may not work properly but I mean no need to uh, worry okay. but theoretically you can find that <coughs> but some minor commands won't work as expected okay as in the original Unix uh, systems okay but still you can practice very well all the Unix commands here so now we will start with a find command <coughs> okay. so find command is to find a particular pattern file okay. now if I give an ls how many files we have generated these many files okay in real time we will be creating so many folders so many files let's suppose some 10 folders and in each folder some hundreds of files Okay. so if we have such type of a real environment which is having more than 500 files 600 files around 1000 files okay, it is difficult okay, to remember which file is existing in which folder okay, sometimes we may we may not know okay, the files where they are exactly existing in which folder right so to find such type of files okay we know the file name but we don't know in which folder it got existing right so in such situations we can use the find command okay, to find the exact path or exact location of the file in which it is existing okay. so let's see we have three folders here okay. now I wanted to find out where is my file 4 okay. because I, 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 I forgot where my file 4 is existing okay. so now what I can do find 
file 4. Okay, so it is trying to search in the current directory where the file 4 is not existing. Right? So now we have to give a path from the current directory. Okay, it has to search for the file 4. See? It has given all the files list. Okay? From the current directory, it has given all the files list. Okay, whatever are files existing 